Right, guys, welcome back. Oh, well, what am I squ swiping some off the table there? Well, we're back. <coughs> we had a lovely time away. A lot of time together. Shame the weather wouldn't play nice for us, but it's nothing I didn't expect up there at this time of year, to be honest. Um, <laughs> on the days that we didn't have high winds or driving rain, we had both together. Uh, <laughs> to the point where one morning, we did have one real nice, sunny, calm, virtually windless day. Uh, and that was on a day that uh, we went to bed listening to the wind and the rain, thinking we'll have a nice lie-in in the morning. And by the time we woke up, it was beautiful sunshine, flat seas, <laughs> and a mad rush to get to the beach for a couple of hours because we'd nearly missed the bloody tide. But we got down there and we caught a couple of fish. Um, we had a good run through, four hours door to door. We left at four o'clock um, Saturday morning. We were up there by eight, which meant we gained a day, effectively, which was really nice. Um, we did it with no stops, I just drove straight through. A nice run up the motorway, sun coming up as we were going up over Shap on the M6. That was rather nice. Um, but I didn't get a lot of filming done. Um, basically tripods wouldn't stand up in the wind and it was raining a lot of the time as well and obviously you can't get the phones and that wet but we did do a bit of hand filming just the odd clips which I'll put a video together this week just to show us the sort of weather we did have and uh, yeah well we, we've now tried October, September, June over the last few years uh, so this time we rebooked for July next year. <laughs> See how that goes. <laughs> um, it's never really busy up there, so you know school holidays don't really affect it a lot. But uh, it does make a difference on the road, on the drive up and back. Um, I will say sorry to anybody that did email, texts, etc. Um, after the first few days, you know, we I was constantly being interrupted with email alerts and text alerts and what have you, and likewise with the missus on Facebook and everything that she does. So we just said, no, sod it, we're on holiday. We're away from the world. Turn everything off and just have the time for ourselves, which is what we did. So I do apologise if uh, anybody was trying to get in touch. Uh, that's what all it is for, having fun, being together. So we just turned everything off and decided, no, it's our time. <coughs> um, but, but sadly, now we're back in the real world. Um, I will go through the emails and what have you that I've received while everything was off and I will get back to you all eventually. <laughs> um, but yeah, I took 10 minutes last night just before I went to bed. I'm still knackered now. Um, just have a quick look what's going on out there. Not a lot's changed. Many things are getting worse. Um, it looks like it's going to be a long, hard, cold winter for many, many people, us included. Um, it, the propaganda machine's gearing up. You know, it's jab, jab, jab for every little bug that's out there now. All under the guise of saving the NHS, of course. Don't want them overrun, you know. Ooh, heaven forbid, throws them right into a spin. And this is all being backed up again with the usual threats of uh, losing your job if you haven't been jabbed, um, the incoming passport, which will be coming. Believe me, it's coming. They've told us it's coming. Um, that'll end your life as you know it. Because you'll have to have that. 
Uh, you, you'll have a choice. Well, you won't have a choice because you'll either sit at home and freeze to death because you can't afford the heating and that'll only happen because uh, you can't afford to feed yourself because you can't go anywhere to buy anything because you haven't got a passport. So it's a choice of either freeze or hunger. <laughs> Uh, I do believe winter lockdowns will be inevitable, although they're saying they don't want to. But the main reason for that, in my mind, is because they can't afford to. They can't afford to support people. The pot's empty. The, the, there's no more money there. But they always seem to be able to find it for those that have got money, don't they? You know? We, we don't matter. We're, we're just something they tread on getting what they want and it's funny how the uh, so called fuel sort shortage disappeared as quickly as it appeared not hearing anything about that any day, any day now I mean we filled up before we went we filled up when we got there and we filled up before we came back never had an issue no cues, no nothing. And uh, where's old Boris through all this? Oh, he's on holiday in Spain with his handler, isn't he? <laughs> I mean, fair's fair. I've just had holiday. We're all entitled to him. But there are times when it's just not appropriate and watching your country go down the pan from Spain, if that's what he calls holiday fine <laughs> uh, videos will be a bit sparse this week um, I've got a lot to do I've still got all the fishing tackle set up there all I did was unloaded everything out of the car and dumped it in here because the missus needs the car for work today and uh, <laughs> lugging a boot full of fishing tackle around and half a dozen rods <laughs> not the good look so I've got to clean and dry and sort all that out. Um, obviously there's washing, there's the house to get in order. Um, if I find a dry day, the lawn is like a jungle. But I think the funniest thing I've come home to find is um, the next Superman's bisexual. <laughs> it's Superman's son. And apparently he's going to announce that he's bisexual. Oh dear, what has this bloody world come to? <laughs> oh dear. The, the world's gone mad, it really has, while well, I've been gone. And it's only took a week. Well then guys, I'll let you get on with the rest of your day. I've got things to do now. Um, there's a couple of checks came... Boy, we're away. I've got to go up and put in the bank. <coughs> so until the next one, people. As always, stay safe. Can't do it with a fag in my hand, can I? Stay safe. Stay strong. Stay absolutely free and start stocking up for the winter. It's not going to be a good one. Thanks for your support and my respects to you all. Bye for now.